Hello Braves fans, I'm Larry Larson reporting for Braves Vision. I'm here at Carver Arena where the Braves just took down first place team in the Missouri Valley, Loyola Chicago, by a score of 61-54. to The game was a mostly defensive battle in the first half uh, as Bradley found themselves down 26-22 to going into halftime after scoring 51 points in their previous game versus Indiana State. In the second half, the Braves came roaring out of the gate uh, and battled back to tie the game with 16 minutes to play. The lead exchanged hands a few times before Bradley seized control of the game permanently with 10 minutes to play, and the Braves would never let go of that lead. After the game, Coach Wardle talked a little bit about the difference between the first and second half. You know, so at halftime it was about here's, here's the points, here's the things that we got to do a little bit better on. Uh, we can't lose sight of, of personnel. And um, we wanted to get more post touches, and we wanted to continue to go over glass and try to get some transition baskets we were able to do too, try to just push it on makes or misses a little bit harder and faster to see if we can get the tempo up. In the stat department, Daryl Brown led the team in scoring yet again with 21 points and two assists. Luke Van Bray had a big performance with 11 points and 10 rebounds, and Eli Childs rounded out the scoring with 13 points and seven rebounds. Um, post game, Luke Van Bray discussed his performance a little bit to the media. Uh, you know, I just try to come and play hard. Um, you know, rebound is a big emphasis, I think, for me. And, uh, you know, glad I got to some balls and, and got some. But at the end of the day, I don't really care, you know, about my stats. I just come in, try to play hard, uh, you know, do my part. And I think I, I did, it, did it well tonight and glad we won. Up next, the Braves will travel to ISU on Saturday. After the big win, the Braves are staying focused on their next challenge in the Redbirds. Yeah, I mean, it's a big win, uh, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, every conference win is big, and so, uh, you know, uh, it's a good win, but really for us, all the games coming up are, are big right now, so, uh, you know, it's a good win, we're going to enjoy that tonight, but, you know, tomorrow we've got to start focusing on uh, ISU again. Uh, I mean... It's a conference, so you should expect to grind it out game. It's going to be a tough game. you got to be physical. You know what I mean? We just got to take care of the ball and do what we do, play our defense the way we play defense, and rebound the ball the way we rebound the ball. And, I mean, as far as offense, we just share the ball, and whoever gets hot to the night, I mean, it's their night. So we'll go from there. Staying consistent. It's, it's staying right here in the middle. Not going, you're never as good as you think, never as bad as you think. Um, you got to stay in the middle. you got to stay consistent. Um, Got to stay confident, but the work's got to be there, and the chip on the shoulder and the hunger's got to continue to stay there no matter what happens. You're only as good as your last game, and we know that. And uh, tomorrow's a new day, and we're going to practice like we lost. Tip-off for the game at ISU is at 7 p.m. and will be broadcast on ESPN2. Reporting for Braves Vision, I'm Larry Larson.